we're kicking around the London Underground again, and this week we're heading to Elephant and Castle. The area takes its name from an old coaching inn, which is now the site of the Elephant and Castle pub. And there's a pink elephant sculpture outside the slightly run down but super retro Elephant and Castle shopping centre from the 1960s, where you can take a trip back in time and play a game of bingo at the London Palace Bingo Hall. It's a really cheap and fun way to spend an evening, and if you're able to keep up with all the bingo expert grannies, you might walk away with a prize. Michael Caine was born in and grew up in the area, as was Michael Faraday, and there's a huge metal box memorial to him in the middle of Elephant Square. And Walworth Road is home to London's oldest apothecary, G. Baldwin & Co, which opened its doors in 1844. Today the area has a young, arty feel, home to the Ministry of Sound and two fantastic street food markets. The Artworks Elephant is a pop-up mini mall made out of shipping containers, with lots of independent shops, cafes and bars. We love stopping off for pink waffles and rose lattes for breakfast at Cupcakes and Sh who are famous for their vegan baking and freak shakes. Or, if you're more in the mood for Cuban food, head to Jama Havana for a Cubano sandwich with sweet potato fries. They even have vegan and vegetarian versions. You'll find a whole world of cuisines just up the road at Mercato Metropolitano, a street food court set in a giant industrial warehouse. There are dozens of stalls serving up dishes from around the world, but our favourites include Champagne plus fromage for French eclat, Fresh Pasta Bakery for pink or black ravioli, Fish and Fry Shack for tuna steaks and amazing crisps, and the Churros Hut outside, where they fry fresh churros before filling them with hot chocolate for dessert. Outside the market, you'll find the Farm Bus, where you can buy plants and cacti out of a double-decker bus converted into a greenhouse. The market is also home to Backyard Cinema, an immersive cinema which changes its theme seasonally. We went to see Black Panther at their Mission to Mars cinema, where we sat in comfy beanbags in a spaceship while sipping on Martian Mai Tais and Star Garitas. If you're more in the mood for a sit-down meal, then head to Louie Louie, a cute little restaurant and bar which changes resident chef from month to month so that you'll never get bored of the menu. Grab lunch at the Electric Elephant, a cute little cafe in a cobbled courtyard that runs its own film screenings. Or head to Mamushka Polish Kitchen for London's best and most authentic Polish dumplings. They're cheap and delicious. Inspired by the street food of Elephant Castle, we're going to make some pink pierogies filled with beetroot, onion, goat's cheese and potato. And to wash these down, we're going to make an elephant elixir smoothie with bananas, blueberries and basil. To make the smoothie, gather together two bananas, a handful of blueberries, a handful of basil, 100 millilitres of soy milk, and 100 millilitres of coconut yogurt. Place the basil in the blender, followed by the blueberries. Chop the top edge of a banana and then slice in two. Slice in half again and place to one side. Chop up the rest of your banana and add to the blender. Add 100 millilitres of coconut yogurt and 100 millilitres of soy milk. Blend well for a minute or two. Pour the smoothie into a glass ready to serve. Add two basil leaves to your smoothie to look like elephant ears. Spray with a little silver edible food colouring if you like. Add a silver or grey metal straw. Place the two slices of banana at either side to look like tusks. And finish with two blueberries to look like eyes. Pop 200 grams of butter into a microwave safe jug and melt. Leave the butter to cool a little before adding 200 milliliters of sour cream, cracking in two eggs and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then give it a good whisk. Add the juice from a packet of cooked beetroots to your mix and whisk it until you get a nice pink color. Measure out 500 grams of plain flour and add 1 teaspoon of salt. Add the wet ingredients to the flour and then mix in well. Cover with a damp tea towel and leave for 2 hours. Then scoop the dough into a bowl, wrap in cling film and place in the fridge until ready to use. Bring a large pot of water to the boil with a little salt while peeling the potatoes and then cook for 35 minutes until soft. Chop an onion into fine slices. 
and then fry it with a little oil until soft and golden. Place four small cooked beetroots into a blender, followed by the cooked onions. And then add 150 grams of goat's cheese, followed by 100 milliliters of sour cream. Blend until nice and smooth. Once the cooked potatoes have cooled a little, mash well with a fork. Pour the blended beetroot mixture into the potatoes. Mix in well and then season to your liking with salt and pepper. Chill the filling until you're ready to make your dumplings. Remove the dough from the fridge and break into two halves. Roll out onto a floured surface until nice and thin. Use a cookie cutter to cut out large circles from the dough and place to one side. Place a spoonful of filling into the middle of each circle. Brush around the top edge of the dough with a little water and then fold over the filling, pressing the edges. Use a fork to press around the edges, sealing the filling into the middle. Repeat this process to make the rest of your dumplings, using up the second ball of dough and the rest of the filling. When you're ready to cook your dumplings, bring a pan of water to the boil and place the dumplings in three or four at a time. Cook each dumpling for two or three minutes until it floats to the top and then scoop out with a ladle. Serve the dumplings hot, topped with fresh sour cream, black pepper and some fresh chives. That's all from Kicking Around London Underground and Elephant and Castle this week, but please make sure to like and subscribe and share with friends. And you can find more recipes at catandkeep.net or keep up with my adventures on my blog at catmorley.com. Thanks for watching and goodbye!